What's up, Wolfpack? I'm Shadow the Werewolf, and today I'm discussing something very near and dear to my heart. Multiple personality disorder. It is, well, I think they call it dissociative identity disorder now. So, multiple personality disorder is when, basically, you are almost bipolar, but you're unconscious when you get to another state of mind. I have this disorder. This, Despite what people think, though, there are positives and negatives. Some personalities can be harmful and very aggressive. However, some of them are overly protective. And as far as I know, well, there may be one. But all, well, I'm, I'm one of the personalities that I count. So out of my four personalities, they all seem to not want to off me or try to say that I'm not real. So it's it's a very comfortable sentiment when every little tiny voice in your head, and that's definitely the insane part, is kind of nice to you. Uh, another thing is they actually help me record YouTube videos. Like, not, not help me, like, actually like that, but no, because I literally think about them so much, and I listen to what I've heard people tell me that I do weirdly sometimes, I've written down shit about their quirks, what they like, how they act, and I pretty much got all five of us down the hole. Now, there are some negatives. For one, you're unconscious when you're doing something. What happens when I freaking run over a kid or freaking hit someone with a baseball bat? Well... I actually do, would do that on my own, but that's not the point, okay? It's a very painful process for those who can't handle it, for those who have this disorder, but they have very violent personalities outside of that. You have some that are even suicidal and homicidal. However, the whole idea is that it's like voices in your head, but the, it's like possession, is the best word. It's close to like a demonic possession. At least that's how my pastor put it. I tried to tell him I had multiple personalities disorder. He walked over to me with his Bible in hand and a cross on his neck and said, Please in here, boy, you are possessed by the devil. And I said, uh, I think I just have a mental devil possessing you, boy. You want to pray to Jesus to get them demons out. Let's just say that's the only reason when it comes to mental health that I will not trust a Christian. I'm not going to go fucking donate canned food to help my mental health. I'm not going to sit there and say, God, please cure my incredible brain disease because it's not going to happen. <laughs> I'm going to sit there. Okay, let me test something. God, give me a Milky Way. God damn it. Oh, well, but you see my point. That's why I got very upset. That's also why I was going through a lot of insanity problems last year. Because I was in a group. Yeah, let's stick with that. I was in a group of people who were from various... I was in various religious groups, actually, not a group of people. I hung out with tons of less-than-normal kids. And we were often judged by the church. Which is a very, very bad idea. I am not a nice individual. So if you try to hit me, I will warn you that I will not give you a break if we ever fight. I mean, it's been two months because Georgia spice prejudices. Not a lot of people are ready to hit you. They want to, but they're more likely to shoot you with a shotgun and then smash you with a bottle of whiskey. Boy, you way in my yard. But yeah. So the whole idea behind it is if you have multiple personality sword. don't try and throw away the other personalities. You can lock them up, but in my experiences with these four gullible bastards, well not gullible, but likable bastards, is the more you try to lock them away, the more you try to push them back, the more you fight them, it's just going to be pointless. You know, I'd rather kind of accept them as a part of me, the whole inner peace and love, dude. Oh, God, hold up. I want to try to uh, hit people with real quick. Oh, the colors of the bow, man. But, yeah, multiple personality disorder is no joke. Uh, take it very seriously. However, if you're like me, there's a good chance you can handle it on your own. 
But that's all for me. So if you'd please bite the living shit out of that like button while you're there, slash up that subscribe button from me to you to the full moon. Oh.